New Order Power Lies. New Order Power Lies and Corruption. What's going on? What's good? All right. All I know is that this band kind of formed from the ashes of Joy Division after Ian's death, I believe. If you didn't see both of my Joy Division reviews, feel free to go check those out. All right. If you want, it's up to you. You know, th those reviews are my best because I just started off the channel at the time. So I, th I could, I really don't know any sound, so I'm kind of scared to get into this, but I feel like it's been a long time coming. I feel like I'm overdue on this fucking album. You know what I mean? And I, and I was just thinking about it the, the other day. I've been recommended it a hundred times. Feel free to drop your recommendations down below if you want me to listen to any more New Order or any other stuff that came out in, I don't know, 1983 or the 80s or whatever you want me to do. If you want to go check out the uncut version and recap of the stream, it's going to be up over there. If you want to decide to support me over there, all right, I love you. If you don't want to, that's fine. All right, that's cool. Porter Pro's on. My shit is connected today. Track number one is Age of Consent. <laughs> First things first, love the drums. And just some absolutely insane guitar work on that. Most I mean I, I can I can listen to that like ten hours on end, no break. You know. <laughs> but I, I think it was, you know, a, a lot of the other, you know, little different sounding, varying guitar parts that came in throughout here and there that really, you know, was like the cherry on top for me with that song. That was perfect. I loved his vocals too. I don't know why, like I was going into this album with uh expectation of something that was gonna be maybe as equally depressing as um joy division and I'm, I'm not saying that song was like a, certainly upbeat or anything but i think i really just hope that it's not like downhill from here you know that would suck anyways track number two is we all stand <laughs> Oh my god, the bass and the guitar are clicking. The bass and the guitar are clicking up. Oh, 
This shit is so fun. We need to talk about this. So you know what? I think I think I'm start. I think I'm grasping the lyrics on that song better than it was in the first one. To be honest, to be honest, that first song, a little lost on this one. I think that we're just kind of talking about the inevitable reality of where the war, where whatever war was happening at the time, is going to lead us. You know, it's not going to lead us in a good. It's not going to lead us in a good direction. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's just going to lead to blood, blood everywhere, blood 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 on the. Sh He's not for it, and neither am I. Because that bass line was fucking crazy. That bass line was crazy. The way the guitar was following it was insane. I'm looking for a 10. I'm looking for a 10 out of 10. Let's get to number three now, which is The Village. Fuck me, damn. Synth bass dance element kind of going on along with that, you know, guitar that we've heard previously. I also like the little arpeggiated effect that was playing on the guitar a little bit. I think the song is just kind of referring to about the uh, just you know just the lifespan, just the cycle of love that he happens to be going through, that this person's happened to be going through. You can co compare it to a lot of things in nature, like the flowers, the ocean, the rain. We love that. You know what I mean? We love that. I think I think that's a that's a positive song, right? That's another hitter for me. Let's get into number four now, which is five, eight, six. What's good here? Okay. Okay. Some wind. All right. That was an intro. That was an intro. I can tell you that. Oh my god, is this house? In the future When you want me In your heart I won't be there If you call out In the dark feelings Oh, can you call me Deep inside From these feelings I can't hide Oh, I like it. 
another one that I am absolutely a massive, massive fan of. All right, I, I really, I really did enjoy how we kind of really isolated. All right, the little dance aspects on that song. I don't, I don't know what that little two minute interlude in the beginning was going on. I don't know what was happening there. You know, I mean, I, 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 I guess that that was a nice little touch. He's vague on the on the lyrics there for sure. It, it, it does seem like he's holding a grudge against this person, perhaps. I don't know it's it's definitely a bigger metaphor for something happening that I just don't know about. Because why would the song be titled Five Eight Six? Like, what even is that? Anyways, that song was great though. That song was great though. I'm loving his vocals, and I think the lead synth that really picked up at the end though is probably my favorite part of the whole entire album so far. Yeah. Oh my god. This reminds me of, um, this reminds me of decades. They're so fucked up for that flute. They're so fucked up for that flute or whatever it is. Holy James, I agree. I'm definitely getting Cure vibes. Oh my god. Yeah, I, that, that synth on that song is also kind of reminding me of um, the one that oh, was on Decades. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think, I, I think I've been subconsciously trying to look for, you know, comparisons between Joy Division and this so far. Because I do love Joy Division. So I knew I was going to like this record, but holy shit, so far I'm enjoying this way more than I thought I was going to. Uh, I think that his songwriting on that one is just kind of talking about you know the corruption the corruption part of of this album maybe he's talking to a, a, someone in a position of power and just seeing their silent face and they're not really caring about injustice that that's maybe happening around them you know what i mean let's get into number six now which is ultra violence how, how do they how, how do they come up with this start Oh, that guitar is disgusting. That guitar. Maybe he's just trying to go within 
after seeing all the, you know, torment and bad shit going on within the world, he's just trying to, you know, go within instead. I think the main thing I'm enjoying this album so far is um, just the sound of it. Just the sound of that song was crazy. I love, I love the guitar and that once again. And I thought that, you know, the guitar retired after the third song, but no, absolutely not. Lana Del Rey, I can't believe that they predicted, you know, her album ultra uh, ultra violence you know so many so many years prior so let's get to number seven now which is ecstasy this is so fucking 80s <laughs> what is that is that a vocoder that punk is that you I had a feeling these lyrics are wrong. There is no lyrics. As per usual, a lot of the albums during this time period, you know what I'm saying, have to have the absolute unnecessary instrumental in there for no reason. But uh, I like that one. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I think, I think it makes the overall album listening experience go a little bit more smoothly. Of course, you got to get that 40 minute runtime. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, this guitar is nice. I, I love when the first song and the last song are the best in the album because that's 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 definitely the case here oh my god yeah that, those those guitar melodies were absolutely crazy and the, the the direction that this album ended in was just incredible i love how we kind of brought it back to square one with the sound of the production because we, we we didn't get many of that um of the dance electronic aspects on this one but holy shit the main thing about this album that i'm gonna focus on when re-listening to it within the next few weeks is probably the lyrics and the, a lot of the meanings here obviously i can sense a lot of uh, resentment in his tone towards the you know the people in power and i can't believe i, I don't know i just can't believe that, that this is the same fucking band i can't believe that this is the same not the same band obviously ian isn't there but like holy shit love the synthesis on this whole album front to back obviously the drumming is incredible um i th I, I think it was the same drummer on um, Joy Division. It certainly r reminded me like it. I think I was I was trying to find some similarities w within this whole video, but um, it certainly did sound like it. But yeah, love this record. Love this record so far. I, I would have to say that I like every song off of here, and that I actually love every song off of here, besides maybe the instrumental. You know what I mean? But favorites probably are 
um, maybe top three would be Age of Consent, We All Stand, and uh, Leave Me Alone. That's it. That's, that's what I gotta say right now about this record. All right, I'm absolutely loving this. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Drop your new order recommendations down in the comments. I'd definitely be inclined to check out another one of their albums because how much I enjoy this one. Uh, definitely going to go high up on the uh, ranking. Uh, if, if you watch this on Patreon, I love you. Thank you for sticking it out here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a, ha have a, have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.